Uh, now that Matt Jones has been declared the starter, just how did that change what maybe what you decided to do as far as defensively? It, it doesn't change us a whole lot, to tell you the truth. I don't think the offense is a whole lot different with either guy. Um, what they target within the offense, within the, the, the given play, might be a little bit different, but um, very similar. You know, and I think it's going to get called the same way, too. So um, both good quarterbacks, both uh, tremendous challenges. So uh, excited about that. It seems like they rely a lot on the running game, too, just kind of like the yep. Jets do, especially with Stevenson and the Burgess. Yeah, I mean, they're a, a historical run team. Um, I know Tom Brady over the years got a lot of attention, but they've always been a team that um, was devoted to getting the run game going. Um, they they pride themselves on being physical and and uh, dominating the game in that way. So it's going to be a it's going to be a great challenge from that standpoint too, um, testing our level of physicality, um, our ability to stop a team really devoted to the run. So, with the change in their offensive coaching this year, what changes have you noticed? In what they're doing. Some wrinkles here and there. You know, you can definitely see from, uh, uh, we were talking about it last night, um, there's some things that it's it's very uh, it's very apparent that it's a defensive type of uh, mentality sometimes from the standpoint of really challenging rules and concepts and some some unique stuff in there that's pretty cool. Um, they've obviously brought some, some perspective, you know, the fact that both of them have been, you know, mainly on the defensive side of the ball for most of their careers. So it's, uh, it's interesting, some of the stuff that they're, they're doing. It's going to be a good challenge. Players don't forget scores sometimes for coaches. Like, do you remember 54-13? I do. Yep, I do. As a, as a defensive coach? Yep, I do. What, 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 what do you remember? <laughs> I remember the score. <laughs> yeah, I remember the score. I remember... Uh, I remember a lot of things, you know. I remember it being 40 plus, and you know, and shots still being taken on us, you know. And and uh, it is what it is. We, it's our job as as a as a defensive coaching staff and as a defense to stop that. So um, at the end of the day, it comes down to what we can control. And and uh, we allowed way too much last year. And um, been looking forward to this one. How much different? I mean, obviously we see the record, but how much different is your team, is your defense, basically this year than? than yeah, I, I would say schematically we're not a whole lot different. You know, there's some, some wrinkles here and there that we've added, some things that we've we've taken out. Um, yeah, but from a personnel standpoint, obviously uh, a lot of the guys that are starting for us, especially on the back end, weren't here last year. Um, but uh, everyone is very aware of, of what went down last year. That's was, that the, was that the low point for you guys last year? Yeah, that, that and the indie game were probably – you know, places where uh, there was a, a level of darkness, I know, within my own brain and soul and, and you know, and it was definitely trying and, um, you know, I'd like to say that we're better because of it, though. We're stronger. Um, you know, I think in those times of adversity, people are really revealed, you know, and some people go south and some people go sideways and some people galvanize and they come together. And I felt like that happened from a coaching perspective and from a player perspective. Even though, I mean, you do say it's the NFL, you're supposed to stop the it's your job to stop them. But is there almost an unwritten code among coaches that, you know, when the team's up by 40-something in the fourth quarter, you're really not supposed to be throwing? Or is that kind of part of the – how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Yeah, I wasn't, uh, wasn't fired up about it. Try not to say too much. So I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> Can you um, – we ask you every week about sauce and – it just seems like each week he does something unusual for his level, you know, rookie. Last week's game, I'm like, what are we watching here? I mean, are we watching like a, a, a fledgling superstar? Like, what? It seems like every week he does something different. With three PBUs last week, the fourth, the fourth down in the end zone. I mean, what's the growth rate and? Are we watching something special here? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and as, as we all know, rookies struggle and they go through these lumps. And, and even the best rookies and the, the guys that end up having tremendous careers um, typically have moments, especially within their rookie year, where um, they're stumbling and, they're, and they're, uh, they're finding their way and they're, you know, they're learning through some adversity. Um, yeah, he, is, he's, he has been, uh, he's exceeded expect expectations from that standpoint. He's playing at a high level. But at the same time, I'd say DJ Reed's playing at a high level. And, uh, you know, and, and I think really, you know, Jordan and LaMarcus playing at such a high level behind him has uh, helped him in a lot of ways. I think there was a play, I think it was this last game, where Quentin saw there was about to be a screen, so he, he like, ran, like, cut off. 
and a, and force an incompletion. Like, how, how often is he doing plays like that that maybe like you know everybody focuses on the stats and the QB hits, but how often is he doing stuff like that where it's like just causing disruption? To the all all the time, yeah, all the time. There's the there's the screen, there's the interception that Lamarcus had that was um, that was Quinnen's pressure. So uh, yeah, he does so many things on the field that 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 you don't you know necessarily notice because it's not a statistical thing. Um, his effort, his toughness, his his consistency, and then there's this element of stuff that he does off the field. You know, the mentorship and pushing guys and and uh, challenging guys to be better and holding people accountable. Um, he's grown in that way too. So, um, yeah, he is a huge part of of what we're doing right now. You mentioned that you think you hope that you guys are a different team or you learned something since that loss. Exactly how? What is different? about this team and the result of the five, perhaps, or the talent? I, I think it's a little bit all those things. I think schematically, um, we have a better understanding of what we want to do, how we want to do it with the group of guys that we got. Um, obviously, from a personnel standpoint, there's just different human beings out there than we had last year. Um, but I think, and I said it before, that the group of men that were that were here and uh, and experienced that, you know, there's, there's those moments within sport or anything, any adversity in life where um, there's people that start to point the finger, there's people that divide, and then there's people that come together and galvanize and really lock arms. And, and I feel like that's what happened here, you know, and um, the outside world turned on them a little bit, but then they just bunkered up and, and came together. And uh, I really felt like you started to feel a little bit of momentum towards the end of last season because of those moments. And I really think it's the foundation of the strength that we have now.